Hi there, this is Kyle McParlin with Global Social Media Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to use Combin Growth Tool for your Instagram account. Combin Growth is an Instagram engagement and audience analysis tool that we have been using here for the past few months at Global. It is a powerhouse of an application which allows you to engage with multiple accounts at once, segment accounts based on following, search for target audiences, and analyze account metrics. To get Combin Growth, go to the link in the description to try it for free or purchase the personal or business options. It's a great marketing tool for Instagram brands, influencers, micro-influencers, or businesses that want a fast and reliable way to grow their account. Okay, let's get started. All right, so we have Combin Growth open here. And to first sign into Combin, you're going to want to log in to your Instagram account that you would like to use on Combin. So here I have the global social media marketing Instagram account logged in. For the purposes of this video, we are using the business plan. And under the business plan, there are all sorts of features such as having up to 15 accounts that you can have uh, as a maximum total that you can use with Combin. Uh, but for this video, we're just going to go through our global social media marketing Instagram page. So here we have our most recent posts. They're filtered by date. So the posts at the top are the most recent. We can come over to this sorting icon, click on it, and now we can sort by date, likes, comments, or virality. So if we choose to sort by likes, then the topmost post will be the post with the most likes. Here we have 86, and then it will go down based on descending order, 84, 79, 72, and so on and so forth. The same goes for comments, 11 comments, 7 comments, 7 comments, 5 comments. And here we have virality. Now if you click on this little question mark, we can see what virality means. Virality means posts will be sorted by the total amount of likes and comments. So this is basically total engagement on your posts. So here this top post has 86 likes and 7 comments then 84 likes and one comment, 79 likes and two comments, and it goes down and so forth. Now we are going to go to the Combin search tab here on the left-hand side. And here at the top, you can click add search to start a new search. If there are no searches available, then there will be a dialog box in the center here that will have the same button to start a new search. So we're gonna go ahead and click this. Now, here is one of the main panels of the Combin tool, which is super useful. You can search by posts or you can search by users. First off, we're gonna go ahead and search by posts. Keep hashtags and locations auto-selected. And we're going to search business growth. So you'll type in business growth. And as you can see over here on the right-hand side, it's loading. It will come up with a list of hashtags that relate to the keywords that you entered or uh, in, in this case it will come up with business growth you can also select a place uh, for the purposes of this example we're going to keep this blank but say your business started in massachusetts or vermont or california then you can put that state or the specific city that you'd like to search for those posts in or around and combin will gather those posts for you that have those location tags. Here we can see that business growth did pop up. Publications, 1 million, that's a good size. Go ahead and click that. As we scroll down, we can change our search limit so we can have 50, 100, all the way up to 1,000. We're gonna keep it at 100. You can also change the likes count. We're gonna keep it at max and the same for the comments count. Go ahead right here and click find. After a certain period of time, Combin will compile all of those posts together that fit the criteria that you entered. Here on the left hand side, we've already gone ahead and done it. So here we do have 100 found for the hashtag business growth. And we can see that all of these posts fit the hashtag business growth criteria. So now, say I like this post, this post, this post, and this post. Now, these are the posts that I have selected that I like, so I can go ahead and click this like button right here, or I can po post a comment, or I can go ahead and follow the account that posted that specific post, those specific posts.
So now we're going to go on the left hand side again and check out the Users tab. Here on the Users tab we can see all of the accounts that we follow. And also at the top you can see the Not Followers section of the Users tab. If you click on that, then this area will populate with all of the accounts that you follow that may not follow you back. Now the reason this is blank for us is because we've already gone through and unfollowed all of those accounts that currently don't follow us back, so that's why it's empty. But again, on the Followers tab, you can select various accounts that you follow and you can engage with them. So you can like their most recent posts, comment on their most recent posts, as well as unfollow certain accounts of your choosing. A very smart and innovative feature of Come and Growth is the mass engaging portion of the tool, specifically the commenting ability of Come and Growth. So here we have three accounts that we follow that we've gone ahead and selected. And if you come down to this chat icon and click it, this will open up the side dialog box, which will allow us to comment on those accounts. Now, Instagram is very touchy about mass commenting. So in order to prevent your account from getting logged as spam or from potentially getting removed as an account, Combin has made a workaround for this, which is very innovative and, and very useful. So what you can do is you can click this plus sign right here and you can add multiple comment templates for the accounts that you want to post on. So I could potentially write here, great post, love it. And for my last one, I'm going to do an emoji and we're going to do sunglasses and I think I'm going to want to do the fire emoji. So now that we have our three templates set up, what Combin Growth will do is it will randomly assign these comments to the selected accounts that you previously just selected, and it will randomly assign them to those most recent posts. So it's a great way for Combin to get your comments out to the posts and the accounts that you want Combin to reach to without the risk of your account potentially being flagged by Instagram. So you can go to this blue button right here and click that and it will add the comments to those most recent posts by those accounts. We're gonna come over to the left-hand side and click on the task tab. This tab tracks the progress of your mass engaging. So whether you want to like multiple posts or comment on most multiple posts, it takes time for Combin to fulfill those requests on Instagram. So this will show the progress bars for those different tasks that you choose to enact. On the left-hand side, here we are on the stats tab. We've been using Combin here at Global for the last few weeks. So as you can see here, we've increased our total followers since August 17th. You can also click on the different subcategories. So followers change, likes change, comments change. With these analytics, you can see specifics on the changes in your engagement on your account on different days and across different periods of time. And that's really useful for seeing what does and doesn't work, especially in the social media world, so that you can replicate those posts that do work and yield you results and hopefully get more people and more customers engaging with your brand and business. At Global, one of our favorite features of Combin Growth is the ability to export user lists into an Excel file format. Now you can filter or choose not to filter whichever lists you export. However, the process still remains the same and it's very straightforward. For this example, we're going to export our followers. We're going to click on the followers section, right click, and we're going to click export all. Then it will open up the dialog box for saving the file to your personal computer. I've already saved it and I will bring it up right here. And now here it is, Global Social Media Marketing Followers in Excel file format. This is really useful because we can import it into Google Sheets and thus keep track of all of the users that interact with our company. If you want a way to incorporate all of your Instagram followers into one smart list, that you can integrate with your email, CRM system, 
or use as a custom list to run Facebook and Instagram ads, this is the best and most efficient way to do it. Popular Combin features such as the advanced search, which allows you to search for your competitor's followers and the ability to export user lists, save our social media managers time and stress. And that's how you expand your presence on Instagram using Combin Growth. Thanks to the Combin team for reaching out to us to make this video possible. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Global Social Media Marketing, and check out Komen's YouTube channel for more great social media tools.